Hi there, I'm Tanya Windeke. I'm not sure whether you just have going through that phase where you feel extremely numb or whether you had that in your past. As you know, I have complex post-traumatic stress disorder and this numbness, that hollowness and feeling of emptiness and disconnection is, is one of the features of or one of the diagnostic criteria for uh, post-traumatic stress disorder. And it is one of the most difficult um, Feelings, like it's really not a feeling because it's nothingness, and it's the it's really hard to describe. I mean, if you've been through it, you know exactly what I'm talking about. But this is like this numbness and feelings of nothing. It's so heavy. It's and at the same time you're feeling empty. It's it about that. It's probably been one of the most difficult times for me and I, the, where I got most most of professional help, you know, this is the time that you can't really do alone, you know, you really need to go and get professional help to bully you through this. But I want you to think of it as a t like a guitar with no strings, you know, it's just hollow and empty. You, it's your job to get out there, find the right strings, put the strings back on the guitar, tune the strings or a bit like a car that won't start. It is your job to get that car back, to, like get it to start and tune it again. Because trauma means really that your neuronal pathways are disconnected. You're stuck in that rut of numbness that, you know, you lost the pathway to, to self-regulate your emotions. You lost that pathway to having that sense of joy and feeling calm. You lost the pathways of safety. We lost all that. That's the trauma. You know, it's it's physically changing your brain. You know, I want to want you to go out and doc, um, Google Dr. Daniel Amen's work. You know, he's done a lot of uh, work on sh just showing us how what happens if you had brain injuries, whether this is from from accidents, whether and PTSD that is brain. It's, it is like a brain injury, you know, it changes it, Alzheimer's, it, all those things that really change the neuronal pathways of your brain. His work shows that our brain has tremendous capacity to change. And he shows it, and I want you to remind yourself of that all the time. <laughs> Put it, signs everywhere in your house to tell yourself, remind yourself, our brain has tremendous capacity to change. You can change it. Have faith, you can do it. I never thought, I had no idea how good I actually can feel if I work through this. You know, now that I have feelings of calmness. Yes, I still have my moments where I, I feel numb, but I get out of it a lot quicker. I'm, I'm not getting stuck there anymore. You know, and it's, it's just amazing, you know, it's that we, we have that ability. To, to make those changes for us with some professional help. And it was possible for me, it is possible for you. I just want you to keep up the faith and work through it. You know, I know when we are numb, sometimes we don't make the, our devices choices. You know, we just so want to feel something, but maybe just use ice cubes, rub your ice cubes in the in the palms or on the heels of your foot, the re really, really sensitive areas to, to, to get a, a sense of something. And I want you to visualize times where you actually have been feeling good. Even knowing, like in those times when I tried to imagine a time where I was out and had, with, with a friend and we had a really good laugh, Revisualizing it at that moment, I couldn't actually feel it. I could see the situation, I could remember it, but there was no emotion attached to it. Do it anyway. Keep reliving the good times and eventually you will get some good feelings back. Eventually, slowly you start building those new neuronal pathways. It's like trying to learn to tune a guitar. Okay, So it's, it's, it's a skill. You can learn this. You can do it. Have faith. Trust in yourself. You have the ability to do it. You have the ability to learn those skills. Keep at it and keep reminding yourself, our brain has tremendous capacity to change. Okay, thank you. Bye.